so that we could go out there and spread the chiropractic story. And not only our philosophy, but also share our science. Study upon study, upon study, upon study, upon study, and shown that when we check and adjust the spine, and adjust the subluxations that are present for the individual person that's there, that this changes the way the brain processes proprioceptive information. So all we're doing is checking and adjusting the spine for subluxations and the brain is processing information from the arms and legs differently. We've shown finally, and the last time we did this was in Denmark at a hospital, and, and there we were able to do these inverse calculations of where exactly in the brain these changes were taking place. And the scientists that we were doing the work with there, I didn't touch the data collection or analysis on purpose, because I don't know about you, but I have a, a, a very strong suspicion that I am able to influence physiology with my intent. So I was a little bit worried that I was getting my own results because I wanted to. Are you with me? Yeah. So one of the things that I've tried to do is, is step out of it and not actually be a part of it other than going in there and checking and adjusting the subjects. But anyway, this last study that we did in Denmark, the, uh, the uh, bioengineer Dina that, that did the analysis, she, she came to me afterwards and told me that Heidi, you won't believe this, What's happening when you're doing what you're doing is you're changing the way the prefrontal cortex of the brain is processing proprioceptive information from the upper limb. We have actually got quite a lot of research, some really good science that we can share with the public. And the, science, and the public really do like and appreciate uh, hearing about the facts. And then we can honor and respect them and allow them to make their own healthcare choices based on uh, knowing what the facts are.